Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I purchased this road trip wallet kit from Emmeline Bags and I'm excited to see what all is in here and see how easy this wallet is to make. Come join me. Okay, so first I'm not gonna be doing a full tutorial on this bag. This is mainly gonna be just showing what all comes in the kit show if it is enough to actually make this wallet, how much I'll have left over, and just kind of show how complicated the cap, the wallet is, how complicated the pattern is, or if it's easy, and kind of do just a review on the process and the materials provided to make this wallet. The exciting thing is, is that I'll have the pattern and I'll be able to use my own fabrics and hardware later if I do enjoy making this wallet to make more. So let's open and see what we get. Okay, so here's a look at the packaging and I got version B. So those are, these are the colors and everything that comes in version B. You can see it was $49.99 for the kit. So I think, you know, most people are gonna see that and maybe say, whoa, that is a lot of money for a wallet you have to make yourself. But consider that you do get the pattern and you will be able to make many more wallets from this. And this is coming with everything. From my understanding when I read the description, everything you need to make the wallet that you want. So you're not gonna have to buy any hardware, you're not gonna have to buy any of the um, interfacing and different things like that that you might have to purchase. And when you have to purchase those things, you're gonna purchase more than you're gonna need. Um, and you're also making having the ability to make a wallet that looks exactly as you want it to. So keep all of those things in mind. Purchasing fabric and things like that are always going to cost you a lot of money. So here is the pattern and you also get um, some other things in this bag. So I love this already that everything is labeled. So this is going to contain the pattern, Peltex, cork, clear vinyl, a plastic template, and a magnet step snap. So let's open this and see what those items are. Okay, so this is the template, and this is what we're using to mark all of the card stock. So when I read about this, I thought this was really, really nice. And let me see if I can find something to allow you to see it a little bit better maybe on here. So um, this helps you mark all of those slots that are in the wallet, all nice and even so that you're not doing all those measurements yourself. I think that is just fantastic. And this adds a lot of value, I think, to the bag because that's going to save you so much time. And this is something you could probably use on other wallets that are a similar size. So I think this might be our cork. Yeah, it feels like the cork. And this is probably that Peltex. Let me see. Um, uh, this is our pattern template and our clear vinyl. That is for our um, ID slot. I'm not seeing the magnetic snap though. So I'm gonna need to keep an eye out for that. Let's see. It ended up in here. Hmm. Okay, let's see if it ended up somewhere else. So this is our pattern. And it looks like this outer area is just our pictures. And um, it tells us a little bit about the bag. So two sizes and three um, closure options. So that would give us 10 or 16 credit card slots, depending on um, what version you choose. And then ID pocket and three zipper pockets. So that's gonna be a lot of stuff for this bag. And then all the requirements are on the other side. And then here is our pattern. And this is really nice, um, just glancing at it, is um, the different options for closure. So, I chose version B, so that has this cork accent there, which mine is going to be this blue. So um, these are all the different versions. It goes through all the 
um, sizes that we need. This is really nice. So I am able to use this for marking all my fabric when I cut it out and use that. Lots of photos. I love having photos that show me how to do the different things that are required of me. Very, very visual. I work very visual, so I am very appreciative of this. Um, test square and then some template pieces that are probably not easy to cut, um, you know, you're, when you're not cutting just a square. So this is really nice because I'll have the different templates for different versions of the wallet, even though I chose version B. Okay, so let's set this aside. And it looks like our magnetic snap might be right here. Yep, that's our magnetic snap. I can see the two pieces together. So it must have just fallen out when I was messing around. I don't want to lose my washer, but ooh, that is <laughs> that is a magnet for sure. Oh goodness, I can't even get that apart right now. Okay. Whew, thank goodness. So there is our magnetic snack. Rest, rest assured we have that. So here are three zippers because we have three zipper pouches. It looks like they are pretty nice zippers. They zip pretty easily. There is a small zipper pull, but that's okay. It's this wallet. We don't want big bulky zippers. So let's set those aside. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, so these are the fabrics that came with the version I chose. Oh, and they're marked too. I love that. So that is our interior fabric and our exterior and ID pocket. So exterior and ID pocket, it feels like nice fabric. And then we have our interior fabric. And then, let's see. Ooh, we got instructions for using our ShapeFlex interfacing. Um, I'm really glad that that this is included because not everybody is going to have worked with the specific um, materials that came with this um, pattern. So this is really nice that this is included. So this is our um, ShapeFlex iron-on woven interfacing. So that was provided to us. And then here, this feels like it's an iron-on um, foam interfacing. I'm not sure if that is what that is, but that's what it feels like. So let's see. It didn't have a marking for that one, but let's look in our pattern. So that's our fusible fleece. So this is our fusible fleece. And then um, this says that it is our Peltex or Decoville or similar sta stabilizer. So that's in version B. This was marked on our bag as Peltex. So I'm assuming that is what it is. And it does feel like it's an iron on because there's that kind of glue bumps. Okay, so I think we did get everything that we needed. We have our exterior fabric in that, um, sorry, our exterior fabric that is a quarter yard. We got a half yard of inner fabric. We got, um, so our inner fabric, and then we got a quarter yard that would be included in this for our ID fab, our ID pocket. We got our fusible interfacing, our fusible fleece, and our Peltex or Decoville. We also got our cork and all of our um, other items, zippers, um, magnetic the piece of um oh my gosh vinyl and we got this id slot template oh oh my goodness we got so much stuff so i think i'm i'm really excited to get started i think this is going to be a lot of fun to make so i will i will show making the bag um and i will be sure to take note of how long it takes me to make this wallet so I'm just going to be showing clips of different steps and then I will be back to give a review after I finish it on how 
how it was using this pattern and making this cute wallet. I'm excited. I'm going to get started. Okay, so I just wanted to share all of the pieces that go into this road trip wallet all laid out nicely. And I wanted to share a few things that I saw with the um, instructions while I was reading them. So I went through and read everything and wanted to make sure that I understood um, what I was going to be doing. So I decided on this one to do the large pattern size. And what I did to keep organized was I highlighted the cut sizes and everything I needed to know for this size wallet. And what I'm gonna do is when I cut everything, I'm gonna use these boxes to do the check marks to make sure um, I have everything I need. They also have this chart here, which I mentioned before at glance, I thought it was those pieces that you can cut out and put on your cuts to label them. Um, that's not what this is for. It's just a chart to show what you need along with um, for each um, fabric pattern piece. So like for example, for the card slots, you're using the inner fabric and interfacing. So you need to cut those. I think that helps you stay really organized, um, but it just wasn't what I thought it was. So I wanted to point that out that they were not um, labels to cut out. They do um, here have nice um, lettering for each pattern type, um, for each thing that you're gonna cut. So what I'll use is some markers that I have to put on them. They're called alphabeties, and that'll help me stay organized because when you get to actually piecing everything together, this pattern does refer to like piece G, um, things like that, piece F. So having these on my, those letters on my cuts will help me keep everything organized. Most of the stuff you'll be cutting in this pattern is squares and rectangles, so that makes it really easy. At the end of um, this pattern, it does have a few cuts that we will need um, to do um, depending on which style you chose. So I'm going to need this closure flap here. Um, so I will need to use this later. So that was just what I wanted to go over real quick. I have everything I need for this wallet from the kit. It did not look like there was anything else aside from thread um, or suggestions like using a marking pen, a zipper foot, um, or a walking foot making things easier, um, a way to cut it, like rotary cutter, things like that. Um, most people who sew a lot may have a lot of that stuff on hand already, but other than thread and things like that, um, everything did come in this kit that I will need to make this wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and the first thing I'm going to do is start cutting everything. Okay, so now I have all of the either um, interfacing, the woven interfacing applied to the pieces that needed to have it, and then the um, fusible fleece applied to the piece that needed it as well. So everything is cut, and everything that needs the interfacing has that applied as well so i'm ready to start sewing everything together okay so i just want to quickly show how easy it is to make these credit card slots especially if you buy the um, wallet kit because this template makes it so easy i didn't have to measure and draw lines i just lined this up with the pocket and drew in the lines on both and then I just take these pockets that are gonna be the slots for the credit card, line them up on the line, and I'm gonna stitch across them. I need to do each one at a time. Then, since they're not attached down on the sides, we top stitch along here 
Once we get them all in place, we top stitch, making sure just to top stitch one at a time so we don't close the pockets. And then to keep the pocket um, credit card slots down, I will top stitch, well, baste along each side and then bind them. So I think this is going to be really easy to do these. I was thinking this might be the hardest part from the, um, the hardest part from the pattern, but it is laid out so nicely. It, it really makes a lot of sense on how to do it. So I'm excited to see these credit card sleeves come together as easily as it looks like it do, will. I mean, there's, um, there's 14, going to be 14 slots here, I think, or 16, 16. So it is going to be a lot of sewing, but I don't think it's going to be hard. So when I finish this up, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so the pockets are finished. It was really easy to do, just took a lot of sewing, just because there's a lot of strips to sew. So now we're going to be putting these bindings on the sides. And it says to trim after each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that part done. Okay, so here are a few of the pieces I have finished so far. Um, we last left off at these um, card pockets and this was a huge challenge for me. Um, if you can see closely, I had to rip out seams and this thing still isn't the exact right size. Um, it's supposed to be about a quarter inch wider, but um, I really struggled. And one of the main reasons I did is because if you can see on the back, all of these folds added so much bulk and it's gonna be really hard for just a um, standard sewing machine to sew through all of them. I think getting only a quarter inch away widthwise. I was able to get it fine lengthwise because there's not as much bulk at either side of these so I was able to sew a little bit um, straighter and I didn't struggle as much. Um, but I think with just missing a quarter inch I can adjust the seams on the last steps and hopefully still make this work. So some other things I made is um, this ID pocket holder with the zipper pouch. This was really fun and easy to make. Um, the instructions were really clear here. So um, this went together pretty nicely. Um, and then I have the tab with the um, magnetic um, closure here. And this came together pretty nicely. I think it turned out pretty good. It's the first time I used cork um, so if you can see my seams or my stitches here got a little tight, but I think overall it's really fine and it's really cute. I think it's going to look really nice with the bag. Um, I did decide because my order came for these zippers from my handmade space. I am going to use this on the outside just because, and I already put them away, but just because the blue zipper is a little plain for the outside because these zippers are going to be seen on the outside of the bag, the final two. Um, I'm going to use this zipper on the outside, um, the pockets that'll show on the outside just because I think it's really fun and I really want to use them. And actually, since this is my outer um, pocket, there are pinks and yellows in the flowers, so I think it'll make it look really fun. And these pulls are a little bit bigger and a little fancier, so I think if it's going to be on the outside, it'll it'll look really nice. And I'm thinking about adding, because um, I have these matching um, rainbow D-rings, I might um, try to see if I can find a place to add a D-ring on the outside of the wallet so that I can um, put a wrist strap on to hold it, because it is a pretty big wallet. Um, and it would be nice to have a little hand strap, um, key fob type thing to carry it. So those are some ideas that I have so far. This is my progress. What I'm going to be working on next is um, we're going to be stitching this pocket, um, zipper pocket across here, just baste it on. And then this one folds over and we stitch this all together so that... Um, this flap kind of this 
pocket flap kind of holds in here. Um, and then I also, on the outside, need to attach, um, need to attach this and I still need to put my um, other side of the, um, <laughs> I need to put the other side on as well. So those are the next few steps I'm gonna take and I need to make my final zipper pockets and lining, but I'm I'm getting close to the end here. Um, the, the part I really struggled with is the pockets here and this took me um, several hours yesterday to work on. I have been adding up all the time I've been working on this, um, but because I had to um, remove seams and things like that, it kind of took up a lot of time. So that's where I'm at. I'll be sure to um, let you guys know how long this has been taking though. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. I did end up using these cute um, rainbow zippers and they are amazing to work with. They move so smoothly. I am so happy I went with this because it's a, lot, it's a little bit easier to grab onto these zippers and they glide beautifully. This one is a little tight and the zipper pull is so much smaller, so it will be really nice having these on the um, on the bigger pockets. So I have all this attached. These are all basted in place, and I also got the outer um, part of the wallet finished. So the um, magnetic snap is on, and it is going to look really cute. What do you think? I am so excited. Okay, so now we're just finishing up the bag. That is where we're at. So I'm taking these um, <clears throat> liners and I'm going to be um, sewing these on to the area that I already basted on the zipper. So I will show you the rest of the pro progress, but we're pretty much getting to being finished. I'm so excited. Oh goodness, we're in the home stretch. So I'm gonna trim around the wallet. It's inside out, so I have the lining together, the zippers are in the middle, and then the um, card slots and the front of the wallet are all here. So um, we sewed a double layer of stitches just to reinforce everything, and now I'm going to cut around the edge to trim it down a little bit and flip it. Okay, so I have everything all trimmed and I'm going to flip the bag inside out. I'm not really sure how to go about this. Um, let me see. Because there's a lot of bag here. I guess we're just going to go for it. getting it okay well now we're gonna have it inside out so One pocket, pull it through here. This little pocket through my coat. Getting somewhere. Does anybody else feel like sometimes that this is one of the hardest parts is flipping a bag right side out? I think we're about there. Okay, just gotta push everything out. Okay. 
cute. Are you ever just like super amazed once you get like a bag almost finished about how cute it looks or really any sewn project? Okay, so if you see here, there's this middle area that's open. So after I get this all pressed out, the final step is to sew a top stitch around here and you move the, um, the middle zipper pouch, ID pouch to the side. So that is the final step here. Um, I do need to find the lining and sew that so I don't lose coins all inside as well. But other than that, I'm about done with this. So stay tuned for my final thoughts, see what I think about this bag and how it was to make. Okay, so I just want to show how the wallet looks. I made a little key fob strap to go with mine and I'm really excited about how I attach this. It's not part of the pattern, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. So here is how the wallet looks. It is a little bulky, but if you think about all the items that you can fit in here, um, I think the bulk is fine because I haven't tried yet, but I think I could fit my phone into one of these pockets. And it's always nice to have something that you can carry, just your ID, a few credit cards, some cash, um, and you know, a few other items if you need. And that's part of the reason, instead of just having it as a clutch, that I attached the, um, the uh, hook for the key fob. Now, what I did, was I actually, instead of doing a D-ring, I attached this little hook that I have here. And I did that because then if I tuck it inside, you won't really see it. So it makes this look a little more sleek if I'm not gonna attach the, um, use the key fob if I just wanna use it as a clutch. So here's how it looks completely open. And because I did just this little snap, like, I don't know what it's called, a snap hook here. Um, I can, if it's hard to do it when I'm not close, <laughs> I can just attach this on, you see, and now I have it where I can have a little extra security to carry it. Take that off so I can show you. So this is not included in the pattern, but it's really easy to attach. Um, so if you open this up, I'm sorry, I didn't clean off all the threads. You can see that you have a ton of, um, credit card pockets here and then your ID vinyl ID tag. There are three zipper pockets. There's one here on the ID tag that is perfect for change and small items. And then you have these two bigger ones that you can access without even having to open the wallet. And after doing the top stitch here, they are completely separate from each other. So there are eight um, credit card slots on each side and then all of the other zipper pockets. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. So here are my final thoughts on the pattern, the Road Trip Wallet by Emmeline Bags. I actually had a lot of fun making this wallet. Um, I made it in the large size and I think it turned out really cute. Um, I loved that I purchased the kit and everything that I needed for this wallet was all included. Sometimes it can be a little frustrating purchasing a pattern and then trying to find all the stuff that you need to get for it. And you often need to get a lot more than what you need. Um, a lot more interfacing, a lot more, you know, whatever, fusible fleece, um, all of that stuff. You end up with a lot more than you need. And if you just want to make the one bag, you could end up spending a lot more. So I love that they have kits available on the site. Obviously, if um, you don't like the fabric that comes in the kit, then you would have to purchase everything separately. Um, I am so excited that I put the um, different zippers on. I'll still have the zippers that came in the kit available for something else, um, but I thought these were really cute. And um, I'll put a link to where I purchased them down in the description. So a few things to think about. Um, this 
pattern is labeled as an intermediate to advanced pattern. Um, I think that so if you've made a wallet before, if you've made a handbag before, you could probably follow along with this pattern if you're not quite intermediate to advanced. It is really well written. There are a lot of pictures included. And a few things that I would suggest is this is going to take you a while to complete. It took me about 10 hours and 30 minutes. I timed everything. Now an hour of it, um, maybe two hours, did include I needed to rip out some seams and redo some stuff. Um, and that's mostly because this area here for the pockets, and I did mention it before, gets super bulky. So the foot I was using on my machine kept wanting to pull and pull and pull, and I wasn't able to insert um, credit cards in here after I'd finished this panel. And um, what I did, I was thinking um, is that, oh, well, we could just put cards in that way but it just, I wanted it to look really good. So I fixed it um, so that I would be able to put cards in the proper way. And that just took time fixing that so that it looked perfect. And um, I, think it's, I think it was worth it. I think it was really worth going back and ripping out those seams and making sure everything was right. So this is a pattern that will take you a long time to complete. Um, maybe if you are more used to working with patterns like this, you could work through it a little bit faster than I did, but I was really careful um, to sew really slow through the areas that had a lot of bulk in the seams so that my bag would look as good as possible. Um, something else, and I always recommend this in patterns, is reading everything first. Um, and making sure you understand what you're going to do before you get started. So that took me a while too. I did include that in the time reading everything. And then I went through and I highlighted everything that pertained to the bag I was making. So one thing I noticed though, when I was going through this pattern, it is so nice that they provide a couple different versions of this um, wallet. So there's version A and the main difference is the snap closure on the outside. C, you can only make with um, the large clutch. So if this is the version you like the best, but you want a smaller wallet, um, don't purchase this pattern because you won't be able to make this one in the smaller size. I do love that there are so many options. However, it can get confusing in the instructions because you have to make sure you're reading everything that is for the version you chose to make. Um, I think, you know, as long as you go through like I did and highlight everything or make a note of the one that you need to be paying attention to, then you'll be fine. But, um, I just want you to be aware of that because at first when I was reading the pattern, I was like, what? It was really kind of confusing. Um, so here's mine. I would love to know what you think about it. If you've made any bags from them before, let me know which one do you like make, liked making. Um, and if you want to make this bag, I will put the link down in the description so you can go check it out. And if there is a bag that you are interested in making but are kind of hesitant, let me know if you would like me to um, do a review on that bag and I will get the pattern and make it and let you know what I think. Okay, you guys, so I had a lot of fun making the road trip wallet. Um, I had a blast putting this together. I love the kit. And if you would like to see more walkthroughs of patterns like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.